I went to orientation with my daughter the other day to be there for her and get her ready to go to university. And uh, so yeah, our little online friend, uh, she's coming over to congratulate me on my birthday. And we will be... So therefore, my nest at home is changing a little bit. Around the same time that I was going to orientation, I had a memory come up on my Facebook that I wrote years ago when another child of mine was getting ready to leave for university. And I want to read that over you because you may find some encouragement in that writing for the season that you're in or have been in or is coming up for you. Things are shifting in my nest here at home. I cracked myself up. But this is where I want to start experimenting in the art studio. Hey, I was wondering if you wanted to get into some realistic decluttering in the art studio with me today. But first, I want to share my heart of gratitude for those of you who watched the last video. I'm thankful for each one of you. A couple of you commented, and that was great. I love seeing y'all here and have an interaction with you. And then also there are several of you who are subscribers and those who are non-subscribers that I see that you're watching, and I'm thankful for you as well. On the last video, I spoke about how life happens basically kind of align with the fact of where I've been. This is just going to be a lot of work. Through the years, I have found it annoying whenever I watch other channels and realize people saying, Oh, well, I've not been here because of this reason. Or, let me show you up, sh let me show up and show you a day in my life. But yet, I've got all this bull baggage going on in my life and things happening here and there. But I can't tell you everything. I used to find it kind of annoying, like really bad annoying. But I get it. Last fall, my family uh, as a whole and then one particular person went through some things. And that was the large chunk of how I ended the post and consistency. Consistent because I was needing to be there for my family during that situation. I want to create series of my artwork and potentially get them out and about in an antique flea market that houses different people who create artwork or sell antiques or vintage things. Actually, my sister has a booth right now. I may try to slip a few of my pieces in there, but the gist of it is now that my nest is becoming more empty, <laughs> I want to start creating more and get more artwork out there. Orientation was good. It definitely set the stage for all involved. It was a long, tiring day. The exposure being on the university's campus and all of the same people that are like-minded that are going for degrees more so than just from a community college. It was a success. My time in the studio has always been my saving grace. It is moments where I can come about and cope with life's challenges. My opportunity to a piece of it to be able to go away but without really leaving. That is something that I try to teach my children through the years is to find fun and beauty at home without really having to go somewhere. Through the years raising my children, my husband's job has not always been the most flexible so traveling wasn't always an option, you know, raising a family. So I always try to instill in my children find things to do at home 
you know, express yourself and learn and grow and cope with life. Have fun at the same time. Oh, and remember seeing the water bubbling up from my last video while I was out on a walk with my dog. Yeah, my husband said that the county came to work on the water leak while I was going to orientation. I have to say, in some ways, I'm glad I wasn't here for a day of no water. Okay, I'm not sure what's fixing to happen here in the studio, but I'm ready to get busy moving some stuff around. And you may think, well, Ashley, why are you moving that around? You moved that in the last video. So, point in case, <laughs> if I move something that I moved last time, my apologies, but I can't say that I was 100% okay with everything that went on before i start these art series i've got to set the tone in this place and i want you to come with me you may be thinking actually what in the world you've already got a mirror in your studio here's the thing can you even see that that's My a mirror daughter, that used to be the okay you can see it has gold trim around it it used to be okay. black my daughter was wanting a gold here's mirror the thing. she couldn't find one so i said hey honey here's this old black mirror that I have, you can paint it. After Christmas, y'all, lo and behold, me and her dad were somewhere. And yeah, there was the type of gold mirror she had been looking for. So what do you think happened? Mom and Daddy hauled the new mirror up to university and brought the old mirror back home. And so here it is. But I'm ready to find the space for it in my studio as part of my revamping process. Do you think we can do it? Come on, let's see. Just for the record, I do not call my daughter honey. Okay, in all seriousness, I want to see about maybe putting the mirror over there on that wall or potentially potentially on that wall. Like move that dresser and put it right there and then take that mirror down. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but let's see what we can make happen, okay? Okay, let's start on this side. I'm going to see if taking this mirror down is worth it because I've got a secret. There is a big hole back there from all the times that I've hung that mirror Actually, if I can get the big gold mirror over here and move that dresser, that's really where I want it because I want, when I walk in my studio, I want to be able to see a mirror, but I really think it's time for this one to go. So let's see if we can hang maybe one of my paintings in that place and we'll never know that hole's there. It's actually, it's actually more than one hole. I've got to take you over here so I can, I can show you what's happening. I'm on the struggle bus, okay? That's what happens when you take people with you. Get on the struggle bus. Okay. Can you see that? That's like one, two, three, four. Four nails. <laughs> and then there's one right there. But see, what happened was <laughs> that hole right there, it got so big. I apologize for the, the um, shadow on the wall. But the point is, this hole got so big I had to literally put that amount of nails, y'all, years ago to, yeah, keep the mirror up. Okay, let's, let's back up over here and see what we can make happen on this wall that we actually did work on in the last video. I'm sorry if that was too wobbly. Last time after I quit filming, I hung this up. This is not even a complete, this is not even a complete painting, but I just really needed something on that bottom, that bottom nail. So anyway, it served the purpose for a little bit. Did I tell you about this painting? I painted this in 2014. Uh, back in the spring of 23, I was cleaning out my grandfather's house who had passed away and he had it hanging on his wall. So I've put a little piece of tape on the back. This was hanging in JD's house. So I actually have a copy of my own of this, but I'm gonna keep this forever. Okay, I don't want to technically lose that dresser thingy majigger there because I like the storage, but I really think I want the mirror more. So let's see what we can come up with. There is a potential I can put. This dresser is really an end table. It used to be an end table to old furniture of mine and my husband's from when we first got married. 
but I think I might can rearrange some stuff and put it over there. I think probably what's just going to be happening here in the studio is removing like, this thing is a lot heavier than I realized, like, especially trying to move it on carpet. But what I'm trying to say is, I think, well, let me work on this and then I'll tell you what I think. It's just why is this thing not moving? I'll be honest with you. I don't know that I'm loving the mirror over there. Designing and moving stuff around in a room is kind of like creating a painting. And then I think I want to put this here, but I really don't want to put that there. A lot of things in the fall in the studio kind of changed if some things look different to you compared to the last videos before the first of the year. If you notice, this is new in here. That was my granddaddy's. You remember the little painting I just showed you? It came from his house. Well, that came from his house too. It was in his garage. He worked for a Napa company. He was always in the automotive industry and I always remember his garage being just pristine, everything put in place. And I try to salvage as many things as I could from his garage. And then it's like, well, what are you even gonna do with it? And I know you're probably wondering what in the mess that is on my sweatshirt, but let me tell you a secret. The other night we went to go eat dinner, me and my husband, okay? It was our first day after my daughter had come home one time from university. And so we wanted to get out and go to dinner. What do you think happened? I spilled some grease from my pizza on my shirt, okay? My intentions were to put a little dome on there to help it come out. Well, what do you think Ashley did? She forgot, okay? So it is a clean sweatshirt. No dome. <laughs> no dome got put on it. And that's why it's there. But you know what? I told myself today I was going to wear it because I knew that I would just be around the premises. It's not out in the public. And hey, you know what? I knew you wouldn't mind. So, all right. So getting back to the situation here, me trying to make some things work in this studio has a lot to do with, because I did bring a lot from his house. And for some reason, I feel that it's fitting for me to use some of the pieces in my studio. So it's gonna, it's gonna take a little time getting this worked out. And it's probably gonna be more time than I wanted, that I want to put into it right now because I'm eager to get in the paint. But here's the problem, just like I shared with you that back in the fall, some things were going on and I wasn't able to get in the art studio. That's why we are where we are and things aren't done in here, okay? So we are working towards it. It may come down to the fact of me just pulling a bunch of stuff out of here that I know that I don't want here to be able to get the feel and the atmosphere that I'm looking for amongst all this stuff. Even if I can't find a home for the stuff I pull out of here right now, okay? So, I don't know. I want to bring you along on this journey. But I will be honest with you. Right now, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. Um, but I'm going to get busy back working. But I just wanted to let you know where I was on it, okay? Okay, I just measured this dresser that way, that way. And I think over in this corner, I'm going to maneuver a bunch of stuff and put that there. And there's a possibility I put that mirror over here. I wonder should I move the mirror over here first to see if I'm even gonna like that. I think I may do that. Let's see if I can move this over a little bit. Enough to get this mirror over here. Something about the height of that mirror is over there is not cutting it for me. Hey, it may end up right back over there. So just, just hang tight. I can still kind of tinker with what I want to put there. I never dreamed that that's where I was going to put the mirror, but I do kind of like it there. Let me move you around so you can see. And I got, you're all crooked, sorry. I bought this El Cheapo thing to be able to put my phone on my really good tripod and as you can see it.
doesn't stay straight. It's like stripped out or something. I think it was because it was <laughs> expensive, but my gracious, let's just laugh together about it, okay? <laughs> Hang on. Can you see the mirror? Oh, man. This is a whopping heavy. It's really, really heavy. Man, I am really on the struggle bus back here. Okay. Now, can you see the mirror? Does it look better there to you? Let's see. Maybe. Ashley, do you like this better? Well, let's just kind of leave it oh, there yes, for a I minute. Think I'm in. Let's see what we're thinking. Huh. I might like it there a little bit better. Make that work. The problem is now that wall and not having a mirror over there and all these nails. Okay, I'll think about that in a minute. But what I wanna show you is over here in this corner, like right there, all that, that's a table at the bottom. Wait, am I pointing in the right direction? Yeah, to you it is. Okay, that table down there, I'm gonna replace with that dresser. Okay, I've had that table there for a while and every time I go to open that closet, you, you see the closet right there? Every time it hits that corner and it drives me bonkers. It just fell down, scared me. <laughs> it's supposed to be pushed up, and I had it. You can push it up to put stuff under there. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, now it's not even going to go up. So we're just not going to show you. <laughs> but it did go up, and that's how I had that bucket inserted in there. Come on up. No, the honest truth. I'm really over this shelf and all this clutter, but I don't know, Ashley. Let's see where we're going with all this. And I'm just carrying this stuff right outside the room. I have a air hockey table right outside the door. And I hate to say it, but it's the junk I'll catch. It's amazing <laughs> whenever you kind of start going through some things, which you might really could find that you haven't put your hands on in a while. This is my little lammy. <laughs> See? When I was a little girl, I used to watch the lammy on TV. Belle is from my mother's house. set of binoculars that was my granddaddy's. And one of their paintings. I didn't draw this. One of my kids did. This painting I created many of years ago whenever I wrote my first book. My first book was about um, my journey through liver cancer whenever I was in my 20s. And I wanted to create something that was um, basically my closure of writing the book. And so I took one of the copies and tore pages out. So back behind there are actual pages from the book. Um, there was a significance of this type of flower that goes along with my story. And so that's why I wanted to create and have that on there. And then put the um, words and letters, I'm free to be me. It was a very healing moment um, whenever I created this, but I have to say, as I'm cleaning out, and I even thought about this the other day, like, I don't even know if I want this in here anymore. I'll have to give that some thought. I'm not so sure I'm going to keep it on this anymore either.
this is going to be fun. <laughs> oh, me. break dancing on top of the dresser. Cut the dust off of it. Close your eyes, don't look in this closet, but I'm going to test this out. Oh, heck yeah, man. I can finally open my closet door. <laughs> yes! Alright, if we don't accomplish anything else today, that's a win in itself right there.